Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So in today's video we're going to be doing something nice and simple but also highly requested and that is how to create an end credit system. So previously I've done something similar to this in my main menu tutorial. What we did was we created a page in which you can view the credits but this will be a video showing and displaying rolling credits at the end of your game. So let me hit play and shoot what we're going to make today. So to do this I've created a very very basic and boring game in which all you need to do is walk up the stairs, you've won and it will now display the credits as well as you can see here. So there's a bit of a glitch at the start where it kind of displayed earlier but what we can do is change that and I'll show you how to do that as well. And once it has finished the credits it will open a main menu. I've got this error because I haven't actually created that main menu map but I've kept it in there just to show you that it is actually doing something if you were to have that main menu level in there. And the names I'm using at the moment is it's just my Patreon members, which I've just given little roles like this. And you notice that time as well, I didn't get the glitch. But again, I'll show you how to make sure it never does happen. So this is what I'm going to go into today. I'm going to be showing you how to actually create the credit system as well in a video editor and actually how to put this into Unreal. So without further ado, let me do this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually create our credits. Now, if you've already done this, you can skip forward ahead using the chapters down below. But if you haven't, I'm going to show you how. Now the way I'm doing it is I'm going to be using Premiere Pro. Now if you don't have access to Premiere, don't worry at all. What I'm doing is very basic and you should be able to do this in any video editor. So let's open Premiere down here in an empty project. What I'm going to do is right click in my media kind of browser down here and I'm going to go to new item and create a black video. Then just press OK with the settings you have. Again, if you're not using Premiere, what you can do is just get a black screen or any background that you want for your credits. Drag this in and I want this to last for 10 seconds so I'm going to drag it over to 10 seconds. Obviously make this the length that you would like. Next we're going to get our credits list which I have created already. I'm just going to copy that, get some text in our video editor, put it in on the screen and control V to paste in our credits list as you can see here which again for me is a different roles and my Patreon members. I'm also going to center this using this tool here, move it into the middle and also scale it down a little bit like this. Now in Premiere, if you hold control and move this, you can center it like so as well. I'm going to scroll down and now we can move it up and down as I want it to just be scrolling up through the screen as it goes along. So I'm going to go to the very bottom and very start the timeline. I'm going to add a keyframe on the position, extend it to 10 seconds, go all the way back out to the end and then bring it all the way up as you can see here. And you'll also notice I put made in Unreal Engine as well. And then once we've moved it, it should automatically add a keyframe. So I press enter to rewatch it. You'll notice that we now have our credits going all the way up from the bottom to the top of the screen like so. And again, you can obviously do this how you want, customize it how you want. You can also add in audio, so a song in the background here as well, and obviously make it go a lot slower if you wanted. I'm just having it quick for the purpose of the video. And so once we've actually created this, we can press control M to export it, and then use the settings which you have. So H.264, high bit rate, whatever you want and obviously change the name, then press export. I've already done it, so I don't need to. Then we're gonna go in back into Unreal and we're gonna import this. So I've got my own folder called Movies. I'm gonna open it up and simply all I'm gonna do is just drag and drop in my video. So just drag and drop in the MP4. Now we have this source here. Then we're gonna right click, go to Media, create a media player, tick Video Output Media Texture Asset as we do want the texture and we're gonna press OK. I'm going to name this Credits MP for Media Player, opening it up and you'll notice in here we don't really need to change anything, we have the end credits in here, it's going to play on open, we don't want to loop it, we don't want to shuffle anything, so this is going to work perfectly. We can save and close that. Now with the texture, we're going to right click on that and create a material and open that up as well. What we do want to do in here though is change the material domain from surface to user interface and make sure you reconnect the RGB into final color and apply that. And this is going to allow us to actually use this within a widget so we can display this on the screen. So we'll save and close this as well. Now we've got that part set up, we just need to put it into a widget. So we're going to right click, go to user interface, create a widget blueprint, and I'm going to name this one credits W for credits widget, opening it up straight away as well. This is also going to be very simple what we're doing in here. So drag in an image, Set the position X and Y to 0 and 0, size X to 1920, size Y to 1080, so it's going to be covering the whole full screen like this. Then we also want to change the anchor to be the full screen, 
so it's not going to move about anywhere, it will stay in this position. The image we want to have as the material we just created. So I named mine end credits, probably with a hyphen there, or was it just credits? It was just credits mp video mat, like so. Compile and save that. Now we have our credits video within our widget, which will play when we want. What we also need to do now is go over to the graph and I'm going to delete event preconstruct and event tick and just come off of event construct. What we want to do before that is create a variable, name this credits mp, and as you may be able to tell from the naming convention, this is going to be our credits media player. So we'll change the variable type from boolean to just media player, object reference, compile, and the reference we're using is going to be our credits mp, which we've already got. Now if we hold control and drag this in to get it, we can drag out of this and open source, like so, connecting that into event construct. The media source is going to be our end credits video, which we've just imported. This is now going to actually play our media player and play our credits video. So that is all you can do in here if that's what you want. What I'm also going to do is at the end of this video, open up my main menu. So if I hold down D, left click to get a delay, I set my duration of the video to 10 seconds, so I'm going to set this to 10 as well, or maybe even 11 just as a bit of a black screen at the end. After this, all I'm going to do is open level. This is where you'd write in your main menu level here. What I'm going to do though is I'm actually going to remove it and just instead put a print string just saying open main menu just so I know that is what it is doing. So obviously if you have a main menu, which you probably do, just put that in here to open it up instead. So we're going to compile and save that, close, and that is all we need to do to actually display the credits. But how do we originally call that so it does play? Well, what I'm going to do is create a new level. So you'll probably have your own maps folder. I'm just going to do it in third person BP and maps, right click, create a new level, and I'm going to name this one credits map like so. I'm going to open it up straight away, save all this. I don't really need to add anything in here. What I'm going to do is go to blueprints, open level blueprint, and off of event begin play, we're going to create a widget, and that's obviously going to be the credits widget, which we just created. So for me, that's credits W. Return value will be add to viewport. So when the player opens up this credits level, it's going to then play this widget with the credits in automatically. So we'll compile and save. Now you might be wondering why I've done this in a separate level, and that's purely just because once you finish the game, you want it to be completely stopped. You don't want anything else to be playing in the background, any music, any characters, any AI. You can just set the game to be paused. However, I think this is just going to be a little bit better. So we can close that and go back to our original level or the last level in which the player is going to be playing in. So as I only have one level, this is what it's going to be for me. Now this here is where it's going to get a lot more customizable for you. So this is how you want to decide how does the player complete the game. So again, for me, it's a very boring game where they just walk up the stairs and they've won. But for you, it might be killing a final boss or walking through a door and an exit door in a separate level. Whatever it is, choose how you want to do it and open the credits level based upon that. So again, for me, it's going to be overlapping this box trigger. So I'm going to select it, go to my level blueprint here and get a begin overlap for this trigger box. Then I'm going to open the level with that level being my credits map I've just created, compiling, saving, and closing that, and that is now all we need to do. So again, that part there will be more customizable for you for how you want the player to win the game. But now if we were to hit play, walk up the stairs, it's opened a new level, and it's now playing the credits as you can see here. So this works perfectly for us. And once we finish this, you should see in the top left, it will say open main menu level, as you can see there. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've created it so we can win the game, that will then open credits and it will play this credit video displaying the credits of everybody who helped make the game, and for me that's my Patreon members, so thank you for supporting me. And also thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you did find it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.